Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from Florida. When I first arrived at Honey Lake, I felt like six weeks was going to be an eternity. But what I came here with was a hunger to actually change who I was. During that first two weeks and learning to love myself, uh, it was a process that began um, because of the staff here at Honey Lake. And to have a nurse who specializes in medicine be able to speak peace and love into you through the Bible is something that's unbelievable. Forgiveness was a process that I had started to learn about how to forgive others who had hurt me in my life before my journey here, but I had overlooked learning how to forgive myself. Learning to forgive myself was more challenging than I expected, but the depth of the curriculum here, which is all based on biblical teaching, taught me that God forgave me. If he knew more about everything that I did, then why wouldn't I forgive myself? I was fearfully and wonderfully made in Christ's image, and I had to accept that. Once I accepted that, then the forgiveness process came from understanding that God sent His only Son to die on the cross for me. That's the ultimate forgiveness. Um, it wasn't here looking to blame anyone. It was never a journey to find out uh, why people would do things to me. It really was a search for causation. Understanding the causes of what my actions had um, derived from, where they had come from, why I would do certain things or think certain things or allow things to happen in my life that would, you know, in hindsight, just not make any sense. Um, and really drilling into the things that I had built walls and, and barriers around to protect myself and in creating uh, a false self. And that false self is what had been acting out for so many years. I didn't know who I really was. I didn't have an identity in Christ and I leave here um, with the tools uh, and the knowledge because of the work uh, that I've done and because of the guidance of my therapist here, um, I know who I am in Christ now. Everything here has just been a peaceful reminder that God is in control. We've had storms come through here and then they go away. And that's kind of been a picture of my life. And so the campus is just a place of beauty. It reminds me of Psalm 23. There are green pastures and there's still waters here.